Hey YouTube, Dubuff711 here. This is part two of how to treat green hair algae or any other kind of algae that you have that is susceptible to hydrogen peroxide. Um, in the previous video I basically showed you how we're going to be um, spraying or using the hydrogen peroxide and basically we just have this little sprayer bottle. It was a dollar and if you recall we did not use a spray bottle that had any other chemicals in it prior to putting hydrogen peroxide in it. That's very important. Next I'm going to go over basically real quick how hydrogen peroxide is going to kill the green hair algae as well as um, why it's safe to use in your tank and how to accurately measure um, the amount of hydrogen peroxide you're going to be uh, spraying into the tank. So let's go ahead and, and talk about green or uh, hydrogen peroxide real quick. Um, basically as you know it's it's hydrogen peroxide. It's a very common household item. You probably ha might have this in your medicine cabinet. And looking at the label, let me see if I can get you a shot. No, it's not going to work for me. Anyway, it's going to basically, you're going to put this in your aquarium and it's going to break down into hydrogen and oxygen. And when I show you how I'm, uh, my 40 gallon breeder right here, I'm going to be spraying some green hair algae that's in there. And you'll see it start to bubble in a, uh, Basically, as the hydrogen peroxide break down, breaks down, you're going to have this concentration of oxygen on the green hair algae, and that's what's going to ultimately kill it. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how we're going to measure how each spray um, is going to affect the aquarium. Like you want to be able to keep track of how much hydrogen peroxide you're putting in. Um, too much can harm your fish and your plants. Um, it's very hard to overdose, but still nonetheless, I like to be as accurate as possible. So I have here this needleless syringe I've mentioned a couple times. It basically has milliliters marked down from 1 through 10. And I also have uh, something that most uh, aquarium keepers have, which is a little cylinder that, that you put your aquarium water in and maybe you test for uh, nitrates and whatnot and it has it marked here for five milliliters and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray this uh, it's just a little lid basically and I've already um, kind of adjusted my nozzle and so I'm gonna spray in here once twice three okay here it's finally coming out okay that was one good spray um, and so I'm just going to use this to kind of, I think that was about two milliliters. Let me give you an accurate. Okay, so I just, one spray is approximately two milliliters. And if you go on Aquarium Wiki, you can go ahead and get an accurate uh, table that'll tell you how many milliliters of hydrogen peroxide per gallon that you want to use um, if you want to do some fact checking and I've come to the conclusion that you can use about four milliliters of hydrogen peroxide um, I think for every 10 gallons so I want you if, you if you're going to use this method I highly recommend you do your own fact checking and so I've measured that so that's two milliliters so one spray of this is two milliliters and I have a 40 gallon breeder so just doing the math real quick, I can probably do, um, so what's that, two sprays per 10 gallon. So eight sprays will basically be my limit. And that's what I'm gonna be comfortable doing. You um, might wanna do something different. And that's why I have this flourish Excel here. If you've never used hydrogen peroxide, you might wanna start out with a lower dose and treating your green hair algae. Another alternative is to use flourish Excel, which is um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a liquid carbon, it's an organic carbon, and it's basically an alternative for carbon dioxide, not, excuse me, not carbon dioxide, uh, oh, I'm totally blanking right now, but it's an, it's an alternative for CO2, that's what it is, and um, anyway, this is really good, and just by simply dosing this, this can help reduce algae although that's not specifically what it's made for. But if you're not comfortable putting hydrogen peroxide um, or using it as a treatment method, another alternative is to take Flourish Excel, put it in a spray bottle, and, and use it per the dosing recommendations that are listed right here on the back. Okay, so that's one alternative for y'all. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the video here, guys. And next up, I'm gonna be showing you uh, my treatment method. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this spray bottle and I'll be showing y'all how to kill this stuff right here. This freaking green hair algae that you may or may not have had experience with. So stay tuned for that. And as always, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all here in a little bit.